Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have a full face on today, but it's only because I just got done filming another video. What are these little... What's happening here? What's hap What's What's happening here? What's going on? You know what? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not leaving the house. I'm not going anywhere. How are you guys doing? Um, I don't know what day of quarantine it is. I don't know how long I've been stuck in my house. There's so many, so many things I miss. Comment down below what you miss most. Chipotle is up there for me. Chipotle is definitely, definitely up there for me. Oh, man, guys. Well, anyway, today's video is going to be empties, of course. A lot of these are things that I continuously am going through. Um, and then I think some of these are, this bag is hella full. I don't even know what's in this bag. I've been collecting these empties for a very long time. I don't know what's in this bag. We're gonna go through it together and just see, see what's in here. It's, it's gonna be like an adventure, like a little, we don't know what, what could happen. I don't understand. But nonetheless, I just wanted to save all of these so that you guys could see like how much I love these products <clears throat> and how much I do go through them. Like I am so faithful to these particular products and I can't see myself ever like straying from them if, if that makes sense. Um, Sorry that my lighting looks weird. I don't have any like of my ring lights turned on. I just, I couldn't be bothered with it. I just, I couldn't be bothered with it. I was like, no, no, not, not, not right now. So I did switch, are all of these? Okay, so I was using the Clinique Mild um, and I was using this more around the end of summer and it was fine for around the end of summer, but then when we got more into like the fall, winter, I switched to the extra mild. This is not even all the bottles I've went through. I probably have thrown away like two other bottles. Um, so I'm now using the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap Extra Mild. Um, this is my favorite facial soap. Most days I'll just use it on my hand, like with my hands in the shower. Some days I'll use my Clarisonic. <clears throat> I only use my Clarisonic probably about twice a week because um, I don't want to over exfoliate my skin right now just because it is so dry. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, and then I also do the um, Clarifying Lotion number two. Um, I've went through I don't know, probably three or four of these as well. I should just buy the bigger bottle. I don't know why I don't. I have issues. So these are the, um, I have, I need help. Um, and these do come in a bigger size, but my issue with the bigger one is, is it's like a jar that you have to scoop out of. I don't like sticking my hands in things that I put on my face, unless I have to, unless it doesn't come in a tube form. And I love the product, then I'm like, okay, I don't have choice, like whatever. But if I have a tube option, then I'm gonna go with the tube option. So First Aid Beauty, this is such a great lotion, guys. I've probably talked about it in another one of my videos, I'm sure. I use this year round, so spring, summer, fall, winter, doesn't matter the season. Um, I use this. So, as much as I love Clinique skincare, and I do, I, 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 
<laughs> First of all, the smell. This smells like, uh, kind of like Play-Doh. Actually, a lot like Play-Doh. Uh, and I shouldn't be smelling things right now because my head is pounding. Um, this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Does this do its job and get the makeup off of your face? Yes. Like, hell yes. But it leaves a film on my face. And I'm not enthused with that. I mean, is it a deal breaker for me? No. If I can't find a better cleansing balm to remove my makeup, I may eventually go back to this, but I am going to try a different brand because this did leave a film on my face. And I didn't appreciate it. I'm just saying. I know a lot of people love it, and it's a fan favorite, but I personally feel there's got to be a better one out there. You guys know of one. Hook a sister up. This last cleaning thing... Okay. I don't know if this has ever worked for anybody. And if it has, that's wonderful. This did not do shite for me, okay? I did it exactly like it said to do. And it did like heat up, like you, I felt it heat up when I put it like on, you know, my T-zone area, but it did not do anything. This is the Blackhead Solutions Self-Heating Blackhead Extractor salicylic acid acne medication. It's supposedly, after so many uses, supposed to minimize um, the appearance and the like amount of blackheads that you have. Like, did nothing. Um, this is the Lancome I don't know how you pronounce their stuff, but it's their most popular eye makeup remover. Um, <laughs> I mean, it did get the job done. It's very oily. Like you can see, I have a teeny bit left in there, but I just can't get it to come out on a cotton swab. But it's super, super oily. And I just don't feel like it's worth the money, I guess. Because I can buy like an $8 thing of, you know, my cellar water or makeup wipes and they'll do the same exact thing. And I don't have to spend all of that extra money on something that's just for the eyes and is so expensive. So that's probably a no-go for me. I won't be repurchasing that. Are we gonna go on to hair care? Hair care? Yeah, I think I'll do hair care and then I do have a few makeup products in there that we can talk about. So the first one, this was a bust for me. I hated this freaking bear so much. First of all, there was not, okay, let me not say that because that could potentially get me in trouble. Okay, let me rephrase this. They say that there's eight full ounces in here. I personally don't feel that you get eight full ounces in this little bear. Okay, that's my first problem. Second problem is that when you went to use this little bear, I mean, there was just no way to get the product out. You couldn't squeeze them. Like, if you shook it, 
it just went all over. This caused me so much grief. And I don't feel like it moisturized like the normal Briogeo Don't Despair hair mask, which I love, which is one of my main go-tos. That's I always have that in the shower. I am never without it. I love it. That mask is amazing. This, on the other hand, I don't know what happened. I really don't. It just, never again. Don't ever, please, Briogeo, don't ever make that again. It was horrible. This, on the other hand, Briogeo, please never stop making this because it smells like bananas. It's amazing. It smells so good. So, 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 so good. And it makes your hair so soft. I did not buy the matching can, can, what? I can't talk. I did not buy the matching conditioner because as far as I know, they don't make it in a mass form and I don't use normal conditioners in my hair. I only use masks. Um, so I just bought the shampoo and I used my normal um, Briogeo Don't Despair mask in it. But I loved the shampoo. It smelled so good, made my hair super soft. Loved it. I will definitely repurchase that. Um, this... Um, by, I think it's pronounced Shea Moisture, um, Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free um, Curl Mousse was actually really, really good. I think I bought this at, uh, I want to say Target, maybe, I think. Um... And it has silk proteins, something called neem oil. It's for thick curly hair, anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. And it is sulfate free and color safe. Um, no sulfates, no parabens, no paraffin, bunch of other stuff. Um, the only reason, so, Two things, this did work really great in my hair. It made my curls really soft, um, really nice, really bouncy. The only reason that I'm leaning towards not repurchasing it is because when I did read over it after I bought it, it doesn't say silicone free. And that's the only reason that I I probably will not repurchase this, which really sucks because I really, really, really liked it and I wish that it was silicone free. So if they ever make this silicone free, I will definitely, definitely give this a go again because it was really good. Now this I purchased from Sephora. It's the brand Earth's Nectar. I had never heard of this brand before. I just happened to see it on the website. Their packaging looks like this. Purchase this anyway. I don't feel like this did anything beneficial for my hair. Didn't notice it made it softer. It claimed, um, sorry, that's Leonidas. Um, it claims to be a conditioning detangler, and I don't feel like it made my hair easier to detangle or like comb through. So. It didn't do what it claims it does, and it also like didn't make my hair softer, didn't cut down on frizz, and it's also not silicone free or any of that good stuff, so there would just be no reason for me to spend the money on it again, and it's also pretty expensive. I think it was 30 some dollars. So it's really, really up there in price. I don't have a whole lot. Um, one thing that you can't even like read the letters on here. I'm so sorry. But this was a um, Ulta Beauty Brow Gel. And this was in the shade Medium Brown. I would like put it close up, but you can't even see the letters. 
and it was the brand Alta Beauty. This was a no-go for me. Um, I don't really use the brand Alta Beauty. I don't, I don't even know why I picked that up, but that was definitely a no-go. Um, I actually went through both of these. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim um, Liquid Eyeliners. These are really good. I had them in the shade brown and black. I need to pick up both of these again. They're the 12 hour super slim um, liquid eyeliner pens. And these are so great, so easy to use. I do really love my House Beauty one. Um, but if you're looking for a cheaper version, that's still really easy to use because the House Beauty or House Laboratory one is so, so easy to use. This is probably the easiest liquid liner I've ever used in my life. But a great drugstore alternative would be this L'Oreal one, and it still is really, really easy to use. Um, next are the ColourPop mascaras. I think they only have one kind to choose from. I have the shade um, brown and black. I love these mascaras. Next time I place a ColourPop order, um, I will definitely repurchase these. This was the Benefit Give Me Brow. I don't think I will repurchase this again since I found... Oh, I don't know where it's at. But the um, since I fell back in love with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, I love that brow gel. It keeps my brows in place. It's amazing. Um... And I just love it. So it works so much better than this and it's not tinted. So I just, I don't think that I would ever like repurchase this. Not that this was horrible. I just like that one better. Um, next are these eyebrow pencils. I don't... So this one wasn't horrible, but I definitely won't repurchase it just because there's so many better drugstore options. This was the e.l.f. Um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I don't know if, you, if it'll focus. Sorry, I don't think it's gonna focus on there. Um, I don't remember the shade I got, um, but it did come with a spoolie on this end. I mean, it, it got the job done. It wasn't horrible, but it was just really waxy. You had to really push pretty hard to get it to, like, draw on. It wasn't my favorite. I just, I wouldn't spend money on it again when there's, like I said, such better options out there to get. Now, one I do love, and I actually did repurchase it. I, it's somewhere on my desk here, um, is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim I wish I had the, I don't have the other one, but you can see like it's one of those that is super skinny. It does come with a spoolie um, and I get the shade, I want to say this one is soft, yes, yeah, soft brown and I love these. I go through these all the time. I think they're fantastic. They're like maybe seven dollars and I mean I think they're great so I love them um next is this covergirl exhibitionist mascara <coughs> I was really on the fence about this it was really good for bottom lashes it's so dried up I can't even open it um it was really good for bottom lashes the brush looked like that it, it just wasn't it wasn't exceptional to me and i'm super picky when it comes to mascaras you know like my lancome on sir big and before that it was dior show and i love my color pop ones and those are just fantastic so if a mascara isn't exceptional then i'm probably not gonna like go back to it and that just wasn't exceptional but it wasn't bad for, for bottom lashes. I did like it for that. And I think the last 
yeah the last product because i'm pretty sure i had those in my last empties so i'm not going to do those again so my last product is this and i definitely always have this on hand is the um maybelline fit me matte and poreless and this is in the shade 230 um 230 natural buff and I always have um, one of these on hand. It's just a great um, drugstore press powder um, to wear alone, to wear over foundation, to take with you in your purse and touch up your makeup like when you're on the go. Um, it's just really, really, really awesome. For a drugstore brand, they really nailed it um, with that powder. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. And that is it for me, guys. I have to, yeah, it's six o'clock and I haven't cooked dinner yet. So I am off to go cook dinner and wash all this makeup off my face. So that's it for me. That's the wrap. Bye.